good morning people and today we're gonna do a demonstration video about the inverter assembly of this 2017 Nissan Note in power so as you realize in the previous videos we're doing a complete inspection of the e the new e-power technology so I hope you guys enjoy it and we will continue then okay guys before we disassemble we're gonna do a um, an external inspection of this inverter assembly so uh, so let's see if we can identify them uh, before doing the disassembly okay so here's our main control underneath here is the outlet of the cooling system with a, a, a regular temperature sensor okay we'll see over here the part number Another look. Okay, we have the inlet over here. It's extractable. It should have an O-ring over here. Okay, right here we can see the main connector for the electric motors with the system interlock switch. That means when you take off the cover, at the first first moment for the vehicle computer completely shuts down the hybrid system just for it's, it's just a safety safety mode okay and you will see here three phase connector for each one of the system one to the electric motor uh, number two and one to the motor generator number one okay uh, over here this is the main inlet from the high voltage battery Two circle pins, very thick, with a little rubber cover. And this one is the main connector for the AC system. This sends the current directly to the AC compressor. All right. So we'll continue then. Okay, guys, it's been like like an hour because I was disassembling the. The inverter assembly step by step and taking care of a few details because um, it's pretty much delicate so we finally got through and uh, so let's begin first of all at the very first moment we're gonna do a simulated extracting the whole parts but from outside the the case so as you can see we find over here the first thing you want, you, you gotta do app after. You see, the very moment you take this out, you will find this assembly over here. Okay, so we have the computer management of the motor generator number two and the computer management of the motor generator number one. Okay, okay, so. Continuing here with the management computer of the electric motors. Let's put this over here. Much delicate. Remember the covers that I told you with the system interlock? And this is it. Anyways. So we had over here the this is the controller for the transistor of the IGBT that goes underneath it. I'll, I will show you in a few moments. And this, these are all the bus bar connectors. That's this one over here. It goes over here, but it, it won't fit because it's, it goes a, a little more underneath that. I mean. Anyway, you got the point. This connects to the, to the capacitor assembly, but I will show you in a moment. Okay, so we're looking over here at the main connectors. Let's take them out and turn them around and look at what we find over here. We find out four current sensors. Remember that the computer must monitor the flow of current going out and the flow of current going in. Okay? So it has a um, current sensor for each one of the outlets. And uh, finally over here we find the the IGBT assembly. So the IGBT assembly 
They go right over here. As you can see. And the next one also goes over here. But take a look at this very interesting. Okay, so as you can see, the RGBTs are completely sealed, so we cannot look inside of it. But it's, it has a very efficient um, cooling device. But I found an issue, very bad actually, and uh, I'm gonna share it with you guys. So as you can see, the the marks of the seal. Let's have a quick look. So the IGBTs go directly to the cooling chamber. And the cooling chamber, take a look what's going on. We've got a lot of corrosion here. As you can see. Oh boy. Anyway. And the only the only guys responsible to seal the cooling chamber to the inverter assembly are these rubber seals. And as a rubber seal in time, the rubber seals go bad. And that is exactly what is going on here now. That means this inverter is, sem is serviceable. You need to service every, every often, otherwise it's dangerous. Now, look at this marks. That means the, the, cool, the cooler is trying to reach in the inverter assembly. Look at over here. Okay. I hope you guys appreciate the same thing I'm looking, but guys, this is extremely delicate. It means it has to be serviced every often. Every often when you change the coolant or whatever, every certain mile, I suppose, uh, I suppose a uh, hundred thousand kilometers, eighty thousand kilometers, uh, I don't know. You can tell me in the comments your opinion, but uh, eh, well, it needs to be serviced anyway. So you guys have an idea now how the cooling system works in the IGBTs and the transistors. And uh, okay, now underneath the body, over here, let's turn this around. We will find this device over here. This device over here is the capacitor so the capacitor is the one who stores stores and accumulate the power uh, then to deliver it to the electric motors so these are some sort of like power batteries but I was I was trying to look for if this vehicle uses a reactor but it doesn't that means this vehicle works uh, with its own voltage. That's why the electric motors um, are that huge and the battery is 330 volts. That's so, so, it's, so it's massive, huge, a lot of power. Okay. And um, this main connector over here goes right here. This is the inlet from the battery. It uses this device plugs in right here the current comes directly into the capacitor assembly and this two outlets over here are the outlet directly to the uh, the compressor the AC compressor and it has its own fuse so whether you have a problem with the compressor it will damage the fuse and won't, ha and won't harm the the rest of the system all right let's continue okay so we are going to take a look over here the connector for the AC compressor it goes right here this couple of cables and what I just show you this is the outlet for the compressor so the the compressor receives direct current or DC current and the compressor has its own inverter so it can manipulate the RPMs when you use it using your AC system. All right. So, okay, so well, well all of these are the, the main wires for the 
management computer and this is the main outlet so I just wanted to show you and uh, okay we will start to assemble now and I'll let you know after we assemble we'll continue all right guys but before assembly I'm definitely going to service this tracks where the seal of the IGBT goes. Otherwise, we're definitely gonna have an issue. We can actually kill the inverter. So we'll continue. Okay, so I just cleaned with my clothes the surface, the surface inside the cooling chamber and oh, this mess. So, you know what guys? I'm not taking any chances. I'm gonna use definitely gray silicone to seal this because, well, as a technician, I'm pretty sure you guys will be pretty much agree with me. <laughs> okay, we'll continue then. All right, guys. So after using my this one is a T30 Starhead, I give it a considerable amount of torque to this IGBT assemblies. And also, as you can see, I always do a little mark in this complex devices before disassembly so the next step is we're gonna mount this main bus connector it goes over here and of course I have to list I have to lift the the assembly because it goes out all the way this side okay so remember this one is the one who connects to the capacitor assembly so let me just give it some little space tie it up and we'll continue all right, so we finished to assemble the bus bar that connects the IGBT with the rest of the system. And we tied them up already. Give it a considerable amount of torque. Now we're going to assemble the main bolts. This one, they're a little longer. The bolts for the bus bars are short little ones. So focus, yes. All right, so we'll continue. All right, they're mounted. So, because we don't want to damage those main connectors, we want to assemble right away the <clears throat> capacitor assembly. Okay, so here we go. No, that's it. She fits well. Just gonna tighten bolts over here. Tighten four bolts over here, and that's it. So we'll continue. All right, so the capacitor assembly is completely connected and tightened. Now, before assembling the bus connector, remember we want to want to assemble the compressor connector first. Okay, so. We'll continue then. Okay, so we're gonna mount the main connectors over here now. Okay, here we go. So the main connector coming from the battery, and uh, this one is the cable. The cable's from here. Alright. Alright, she's in. We wanna make sure this. matches a little hole over there that's it now you just have to tighten it up and that she's ready to go so after this we can now assemble the battery moment moment She's in now. There you go. That's it. Oh, we just. All we gotta do is just. Just connect the cables right here, right here. And this one goes all the way this way to the top. All right. So I'll show you when it's finished. We'll continue. Alright guys, so we finished to assemble the main bus bar, 
that comes from the battery connect the to the capacitor ascending so as you can see here the AC fuse the AC lines with the AC compressor outlet right over here and the main connector over here so now we can assemble now the undercover so we'll continue okay cover is on completely tightened now we head to the other side okay and we are now well before assembling this we're gonna clean it up a little bit and then she will be located just like this there you go as you see the current sensor with the main connectors goes connected directly into the IGBT. Alright, so let me just clean it up, tie it up, and I'll keep showing to you. We'll continue. Alright guys, this part is a little tricky but not too much. Okay, so after I just assembled this, the main outlet electrical connector over here with its little clip, it has this cable over here, this one that connects with this. We are going to, first of all, locate this connector over here, right here, and plug in the current sensors. Let's see, here we go. And um, here we go, the last one. Be very careful, this cable is up. everything all right so now what we're going to assemble is the main management unit okay so we'll continue all right guys we finished to assemble the electric motors management unit assembly it's comes together on top of this plate these two bolts Everything is connected, so I'm just doing a recheck, make sure everything is well plugged in, the current sensors, this connector, as you guys remember, comes from the bottom of the assembly, this next connector goes to the outlet, and finally, the last controller. So everything is tightened up. So she's pretty much done. Now the last thing to do is little sealant silicon and put this baby over here there you go that's it and at the very end you guys remember about the connector interlock goes right on top of this cover make sure to plug it in and that's it just tied it up and she's pretty much good to go so if you have any questions, just leave your comment. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so the next episode is coming. I'm gonna do the compare this inverter assembly with the inverter assembly of the Toyota hybrid technology. So we will continue then. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care guys.